Now we're joined by Miriam, manager of the Flexibus service and the increased service now between Fingal, Mead and Loud. Um, over 250 people here today, a fabulous day Miriam. Yeah, I'm very pleased and delighted that so many people were able to come out and join us today because as I keep on saying, the celebration day is a celebration of our passengers. It's all about them and the support that they've given us over the years. And I suppose we look at now that we have an increased area, which is uh, Fingal and, and uh, Louth. And we welcome those passengers as well. Indeed, we had 60 people here from Louth today and some of the private operators. So that, I think, is a great, uh, and there was great uh, um, friendship between them and there was great chat and chatter. So it's important. It's important. Uh, we, were, we spoke to some of them earlier and they were delighted that the service was, um, they saw that the experience that you gained here would be of, as an assist to the ones in County Loud particularly because they were the last to, to get involved with the, the rural transport project. So you'll be able to get the benefits that you have learned over the years and increase the service in County Loud. I, I suppose we're, listen, we're talking to the NTA, we keep on hearing that there's you know, limited budgets. It is our desire that we will look at doing extra services in County Louth. We have spoken to the County Council there and we have discussed particularly community car, which is a very, very low cost service. We've spoken to the Minister who joined us here today and that's what we're hoping is that we will see. And while we try to give the best value we can give for the money that we have, we still want to see extra services, particularly in the, in the area of uh, people getting to their health services and the community car. It's vital to every community. And there's no borders anymore more so that means we can cross borders uh, and we can drivers that are in Loud and drivers that are in Meath can switch in with each other to give the best service possible. But what you have learned here is it's been really invaluable and it'll be a great assist to the development of the service so the NTA um, should see this as a resource to build upon in the other two areas that, that you're responsible for now. Yeah, well, the model of transport that we provide here uh, certainly is a, what we consider to be a way that we would look at Louth and say, uh, working with the County Council and working with the Loud Leader Partnership over there, we see that services should expand over there. And there is a, a lack of services because the funding, when they were just getting moving, the funding was, was limited. And so therefore, it's very difficult when you have no funding to try and get services out there. But there's a great will within County Louth to, to move, and that's, that's what you want. Some of the speakers spoke earlier about Loud, Mead, Cavan and some of the counties as age-friendly counties. Um, your service is ultra-friendly because you have the ultra-low floor buses, which is a great assist to people who are used to independent living. Yeah, the age friend, we have got on board with the age friendly very early on and to sit in the alliance here in County Meath. And it's important that people are able to be part of their community and it doesn't mean whether it, it means that any accessible bus, that, bus that's available to them is greatly appreciated. And it's a very um, smooth service, and that's what you want. People would just want to get to where they want to be. They don't have to want to be thinking, do I need an accessible bus? Do I need this kind of a bus? They just want to get there. Um, I, spoke, I heard you speak earlier that you had over 30 people helping you today and a good period of time yesterday in preparation. You must be proud of them, the, the way they handle today. Ah, uh, we had actually, I reckon we had probably 50 staff here today and they were fantastic. I, I, I am full of admiration for what they do. I think that I have the best staff in the world. I know lots of people say that, but in my heart, that's what I truly believe in. And we always have lots of fights and stuff and that makes it even better because we have a great strong friendship within the, the staff here. And, and it's that they're not doing the work for me and they're not getting the celebration day ready for me. They're doing it for the customers that they have and they're doing it for the people that they carry every day and that they talk to every day and that they're very much part of their lives. And the staff just give and give and give and I am so grateful for the staff that I have. They are just absolutely wonderful people. They are a reflection of what Flexibus is to to our passengers every single day and I couldn't ask for anything more. Yeah, we spoke to some of the passengers and, and they spoke so highly of the drivers that they collect the, the um, shopping um, put on the bus and then leave it at the door for people. So it's, it's more than just a, a fella sitting um, behind the steering wheel, the service that you provide for the people in the community. Yeah, no, the door-to-door -door service is what it's about. It's about making sure people have what they want and get to where they want to be, and our staff make sure that happens. And it doesn't happen then either without the front office staff and Helen downstairs and Joanne and Caroline and Annette who work really hard to make sure that all the connections are made, that the computer system is put to its best use, and people get to where they want to be seamlessly. Uh, and we would hope to see that in, in County Loud, that we can bring all of that together. 
we look forward to the challenge. Yeah, but also you can really grow now because it was the official launch of your new uh, building here um, in Navan. So it must be a great joy to you to have um, ownership of your new building um, and a lot of services can develop within the building and from the building. Yes, I, I, I suppose the building for us gives us um, uh, lots of access. I think we have access to a workshop which we didn't have before and so what we're talking about is quality vehicles, making sure that the standard of vehicle that we have out on the road all the time is the best we can possibly have it on any given day. We're talking about quality services, making sure that the services go out are quality and then quality staff which I've already spoken about. But it's so important that we have our own workshop and then outside of that we also have the uh, access to uh, training rooms. We have three training rooms now and working with the RSA who have given us a seal of approval. Working with the RSA and putting out training almost every weekend um, is vital for to, uh, um, to increase our, I suppose, our income and to use that surplus then to go back into rural transport. It, it's a bit like a circle, it keeps going round and round, but if we keep generating the circle it gets better and better. Uh, we spoke to the Minister earlier and he was delighted that Mead was being used as an example for uh, rural transport within Europe apart from in Ireland and it must be a great comfort to you to see that the hard work that you and the team has put in now is um, used as a model for uh, Europe um, from community transport point of view. Yeah, yes, I was very proud and I didn't know that and so it, I was very proud of, of all that's been achieved. But, but everybody has to realise that the achievement starts with the board of directors and then it starts with the guidance and, and the way that they sit down and plan and used a, you put together a strategy for the company and then how that filters right down to everybody in the company into delivering services. So it, it's, it's, it's all about from the board of directors right down to all our staff members. That's what it's about. It's about the guidance that comes from the board. You had a very, very busy day, day today and yesterday, so I'm sure that you'll be looking forward to getting to sleep tonight. You'll have a full night's sleep, I would imagine. Well, I will have a better night's sleep, I suppose, than last night, but we have training on here tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, so I'll be here for that. So um, that's it. Mary McKenna, manager of uh, Flexibus and the expanded service for Fingal, Loud and Mead. Um, thank you very much, Mary. Thank you very much, Brian, and thank you for your continued support.